what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is nash and in this video i'm going to be talking about how you can turn your summer internship into a full-time job offer now the first thing that you have to realize is as an intern your job is to learn right you don't have to no one is going to expect you to be the smartest in the room no one is going to expect you to be to do the most work right no one's going to expect you to fix all the problems right your job is to learn right you learn the technical skills of the job and you also learn you know maybe the social skills or you know some management skills and, and things like that right how to function in a team or it's anything along those lines you're gonna learn that that's your job to learn right so if you want to get a full-time offer or maybe an offer to return as an intern the next year you have to network with people people have to like you right um, I'm pretty sure some of you have seen examples where someone who's less qualified got the job and someone who's qualified did not get the job most of the time it's because the less qualified person is more is likable and they are, you know, maybe they are someone who's more willing to learn than someone who thinks they're smart. So you don't have to be the smartest, right? All right. So you're going in to learn. What do you do? You ask questions. You ask a lot of good questions, not just questions that are pointless. You ask productive questions, right? Once you ask questions, you have to take notes so you can remind yourself later on so you avoid asking the same question over and over again, right? Now, once you have the answer or the solution to the problem, you have to be able to improve, right? That shows you're actually learning or learning something from the internship, right? That's what people want to see. And how do you ask good questions, right? Let's say it's a process that you were taught maybe two weeks ago and, you know, now you have to do it again and then you, you know, you're stuck, right? So try to do it on your own. Go from top to wherever you're stuck. And let's say you get halfway and you don't know what to do from there. Try to ask maybe some some of your, in, your intern friends, right? People that are interning with you as well. Ask some people around you before you even go to the supervisor. Now, if you have to go to the supervisor, tell them or her, I, I did this, 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 and this. And I got stuck here or I got a little confused here and I tried looking here, I tried looking here, I asked these people, I talked to these people, uh, but, you know, I couldn't get an answer or like I wasn't able to figure it out. Now he's going to be more inclined to help you because you're actually applying yourself. So you have to ask productive questions. That's the first thing that I'm going to tell you. You know, managers and supervisors hate people that ask the same questions over and over and over and over again. It gets annoying over uh, over time. Now, the next thing I covered this in the beginning, but you're not that smart, right? If you're going into an internship, your job is not to prove that you're smart. Your job is to prove that you're capable of learning, right? You have to be able to learn. So don't go in. Even if you have a 4.0 GPA, it does not matter. Once you start an internship or maybe your first job, your GPA doesn't matter, right? You're learning new things, new processes, how to do things differently. That's you're starting from zero. So you're not that smart. Don't go in there expecting to prove everyone that you're smart. Now, the next thing is going to be going to social events, right? So a lot of people try to avoid those. Maybe, uh, you know, they, they don't know people. They don't know people that well, so they don't want to go to social events. You have to go to those. That is where you're going to be able to network with people. You know, maybe sometimes they're, they're going to maybe a bar or maybe they're going to or you know, maybe it's just an event outside of work. Go to those. That's where you're going to be in an environment that is not like a professional environment. So maybe they're more inclined to talk to you or maybe they're more inclined to tell you things they probably wouldn't say in the office. Or maybe, you know, they're going to see you in a different light, right? Because if you're at work, uh, you know, a lot of people aren't really themselves. But if you see them outside of work, they're going to be a different person. So that is how you build good relationships with uh, with people. Now, the next thing is going to be do not eat lunch in your car, right? So this is one thing that I see with a lot of interns. So they'll, you know, maybe there's uh, a break room where everyone usually eats lunch, right? And they, they go in there, get their food from maybe the fridge, and they go to their car and eat. Don't do that, right? That is... You're wasting time, right? So let's say you do nine hours of your internship, right? Or maybe eight hours or however many hours you work, right? And you get maybe an hour lunch, right? That is essentially free time to network with people from different departments. But if you go eat in your car, you're essentially avoiding or you, you're, you're, you're limiting yourself from networking, right? So at lunch, this is where you're going to be able to talk to people. Maybe you're grabbing food from your, from the fridge. 
you know, this is where you're going to be able to introduce yourself. Oh, hi, you know, what department do you work in? And the next thing is going to be, you have to introduce yourself. So being shy and being, you have to get over that because that, that is not going to help you. So a lot of people are just going to ignore you. A lot of people will talk to you though. You know, if they've never, they've never seen you before, they'll introduce themselves, but most people are just going to ignore you. They don't really care. They, they already have their job. And you know, your job is to introduce yourself, introduce yourself to as many people as you can. Maybe you are at a social event, like I mentioned before, introduce yourself. I'm an intern here. They're going to be more willing to help you and explain things. So you maybe give you some tips on how to, uh, you know, get an offer or how to, you know, do your job better or something like that. They're going to be more inclined to help you. If you tell them that you're an intern, even if it's at lunch, introduce yourself, right? Introduce yourself. I'm an intern. Now the next thing is going to be talking to other interns. This is really important because some, some interns are more connected, right? There are some people that get internships simply because they might know the CEO the CFO, right? So if you network with those people, those are going to be the people that are going to tell you, Hey, uh, maybe the application is going to open here or, Hey, Oh, I can recommend you or something like that. It's always good to network with interns. And those are going to be the people that you can also ask if you're stuck. Um, you know, those are going to be the first people that you want to ask before you go to your manager or supervisor. You want to ask your fellow interns, right? Now, the last thing is going to be making sure that you know what's going to happen afterwards. So with a lot of internships, uh, they usually give you offer letters way before it's over, right? Or they'll tell you that we're going to give you an offer or they'll tell you that we want you to return. And uh, some internships don't really tell you unless you ask, right? So what I recommend is doing your research, go on the, maybe the company website and see if they have information on there. And if they don't, Go to your manager or your supervisor or the person that the person that you've been reporting to throughout the entire summer and tell them, you know, I really enjoyed working here. I like the company culture. I like the work that I do. And you can ask for the next steps if you want to return or maybe to get a full time offer. You can ask, are there any job openings that, that I can apply to for when I graduate? If they enjoyed working with you, if you did the things that I was talking about. They're going to tell you, oh, yeah, actually, I could just recommend you. I'll put you on the list. Send me an email or maybe they'll connect you with a recruiter or maybe HR where you are on the top of the list. Those things are going to help you. And also, if you don't have a LinkedIn, make a LinkedIn. And when you connect with these people, right, let's say you meet someone at lunch, a social event or somewhere, you're not going to ask for their number. You're not going to ask for their Facebook or Instagram. Ask for their LinkedIn. So you want to make sure that your LinkedIn looks good. It's a professional LinkedIn, right? So that when they see it, they want to connect with you. So ask, hey, let's connect on LinkedIn. And that is also how you are going to be able to build your LinkedIn network that you can reach out to, right? If you connect with the right people, you can always send a couple of messages if you are looking for job openings, right? Because you already have a relationship with those people. All right, so that is going to be how you can turn your internship into a full-time job offer now if you notice they said nothing to do with how smart you are or how much work you complete or how hard you work it has nothing to do with that it's all about being a likable person and a person that's coachable right a person that's willing to learn all right so that is pretty much it guys let me know in the comment section below if you are interning or maybe if you finish your internship let me know in the comment section below but i uh, thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys on the next one peace